So what's new in uh, planning and scheduling? We're talking about the weekly schedule for work orders. The purpose is to coordinate people, materials, and equipment, make sure uh, they are in the right place at the right time. And that should help with effective use of all your resources, equipment, and manpower. We want to match plan work with the right resources to make sure we do the right capacity planning of your crew there. Also, we're trying to make sure it has the long-term benefits to the business, so we want to match the production schedule with the maintenance schedule to maximize the output of production as much as we can. We usually see some uh, inefficiencies in the jobs, and they usually happen in the heads and the tails of the jobs. Uh, what I mean by that is actually the beginning or the end of the job is where most of the inefficiencies can be found. Equipment is not locked out, uh, equipment is not ready to work on, people standing there waiting in the beginning. At the end of the job, we may not have the sign-off to start the equipment up, we haven't tested it, or we forgot to communicate that the job was done, so we're ready to start. And this is kind of part of the production partnership where maintenance and uh, operations need to work together and both need to actually support the scheduling of maintenance work. To be proactive, uh, we should start schedule four weeks out. And there should be some target set. Uh, we suggest that four weeks out, you have 30% of the work schedule, three weeks out, 50%, two weeks out, 70%, and for the next week, you should have 100% of all the work schedule. To actually uh, agree on the schedule, we should have a weekly meeting. We should finalize the schedule for the next week in that meeting. It's normally a meeting on Thursday. And after the meeting is completed, we update the schedule and the schedule is completed. At that time, we normally set a cutoff time on Thursday. And at that time, the schedule should be posted. And any job that is added after that time is considered breaking work and it's going to negatively affect your schedule compliance, KPI. Uh, we should of course update the schedule daily to make sure that any job that is not completed or added during the day is added to the schedule for the next day. All jobs should have a clear start and stop time even for partial or uh, sub jobs that are included. Resources should be assigned by name so we know if people are overloaded and everybody knows exactly where to be at the right time. So the best performers have a schedule compliance of 70% for the weekly schedule, which is the cutoff time is for Thursday normally, and 90% for the daily update, which is the day before, including any kind of added jobs the day before. So that was a little bit about weekly scheduling of work orders.